Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. It, my wife and I are headed to St. John. We're headed to the big city for the day. We're gonna bring the camera along with us just in case we see something that we feel you might be interested in. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's a safe day, safe drive, and uh, we'll keep you up to date if we see anything. And this video is gonna feature a few things, such as an update on the 36 Dodge project, as well as the shop truck gets the transfer case uh, rebuilt, or at least a new chain and a few new parts. Uh, it's been making some noise, giving us a little bit of trouble when we're plowing. And we're gonna change the transmission fluid and filter as well because it came out uh, quite black. So uh, we'll show you some of the footage on that too. So my wife and I are in St. John and we're gonna do something today that we've never done. Of course, we're in the middle of February. But uh, we are going to go up and visit uh, Fort Howe. And the gates are closed because it's winter time and this is kind of like a little park for the city. But we're going to walk up and park the Pathfinder and see if we can make it up without too much effort anyways. I know one of us is going to have some trouble. goat path there take up on that I guess you don't need to be up high you can see it all right here and there's Sherry Don trying to get up the goat path covered nice how you make it out hon Man, what a great view. Look at old St. John, you can see all the brick. I mean, we see this all the time, we can, but we never take a moment to uh, look at it. Back at the old Pathfinder. Yeah. You get in here and it's uh, well, that's charcoal, it's like a dark gray. Oh, isn't it? Pretty dark. Yeah, you get them cleaned up. It is, a, it's part of the material, so it's got to be the same. Yeah. Oh, I see she's got the, uh, you got those on, yeah. the inserts in. I guess here she's got them. You got to bring them down, like here. Yeah. And she got chrome pointed tips here. You can put them on that and it's finish them right there. Yep. Same thing on that side. But over here, she can't bring it down until we get everything finished here. You got to get that header piece that the. Yeah. Uh, can't do anything here until we get the wipers mounted. See, I, like, I like looking back here. I like to see the red against it back here. Yeah. But up here, I see I agree with you up here. I think silver would look good with the black. Especially because color. if you're going to open the doors, people are going to see it. In there, they're not necessarily going to see it until, you, until they look in. I just think that that silver here would contrast with the darker color. Yeah. I don't see any holes that end the end expand there. There's, see, there's a drain hole there. Yeah. So water, if water gets in there. Well, I can buy this. Eh? Yeah. Is that the other. 
Hey, Tim. I, I bet he can't smoke the tires on this thing. I missed me this time. If you don't have a cooler in this or anything, all the plowing, not even trying to put a cooler in This does. Huh? This has got a towing package. Has it? Yeah. Is there a cooler on it? Yeah. Comes right from still, the factory. It should still, it should still be changed. We say, well, we got to get that fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I never even thought of it this year until I started pounding it. I said, oh, okay. Just getting ready to sit here and watch the 60th running of the Daytona 500. And unfortunately, my guy, Ricky Bobby, in the number 26 Wonder Bread car, did not even qualify. What is up with that? So as we get ready to watch the 60th running of the Daytona 500, grab your mountain bridle ski, and we'll sit back and watch these bald eagles fly. By the way, I'm rooting for Chase Elliott. It is Monday, family day here in New Brunswick, and I don't have to work today, but I am going to go out to the shop and do some editing, put some final touches on this video, the one that you're watching right now, and hopefully have it uploaded for you later today. So we're just getting ready to change the uh, maple syrup filter in this old 92 Dakota. When we get the old maple syrup out of here, we ship that right up to Quebec. They make some good old fashioned maple syrup our last time. Good to the last drop. Now we'll let this pave you down and we'll put some fresh stuff right there. Well guys, that's the end of another video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe here and click the link below to watch a few more. Thanks again and have a great day.